When delivered, your 28-foot cable hoist will consist of base unit with trolley, stand and tool kit, plus two folded sections. The sections are unfolded. Lift at the join and the sections automatically clip into place. Bolt the base to the first section with bolts provided. These bolts remain in place unless extra sections are required. Pull back on the wire rope tensioning lever. A diagram on the back of the base switch shows the correct threading procedure for the wire rope. Place the thimble end of the wire rope over the hook on the trolley and release the wire rope tensioning lever. Ensure the wire rope is connected correctly. Plug the top section control cable into the base. This path ensures it is kept clear of your feet. Plug in the power supply, switch on, and you are ready to load. The rapid return switch allows the trolley to return to the base at twice the upward speed. This faster down speed is not recommended for strip and recover. The top four feet of the top section can be adjusted up to an angle of 45 degrees for the easier removal of tiles. To dismantle the unit, first replace the ocker strap around the lifting arms. Release the snap connector and fold back the top section. Hook the ocker strap around the loose wire rope. Then load the unit onto your truck. For safety, the unit will not start if the lifting arms are in an upright position or a red stop button is locked in. To adjust the wire rope, pull back on the handle. This releases tension on the wire rope and allows the D-link to be moved up a hole or perhaps two. The wire rope is now correctly tensioned. The latest model has a quick acting brake, no more chucking the wheels when loading.